Hello, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today I will be reviewing how to use the Ripple tool in Premiere Pro. The Ripple tool extends footage that's already on your timeline without covering up anything else. I happen to be in the Ripple tool right now, which is the letter B. It's located right here. I also want to point out that I am linked meaning using the audio and the video simultaneously. I want to move them together, linked. I'm going to see if this first clip can be extended so that when it meets the second clip, it looks better. So if there's any footage after what I've chosen to put on the timeline, I'm going to be able to extend it. Just as an aside, if I press the letter F right now, that brings up something called match frame. And that brings me back to my source footage and my original in and out points that I chose, F. So, oh, I see, this is this tiny little section. This is what's on the time, and I have a lot to work with here. Okay, so let's go back to our movie, click away. So now, the ripple tool, the letter B. You go directly between the two clips, and you'll notice this little yellow arrow. It's pointing towards the first clip. Yes, that's what I wanted to point towards because that's the clip that I'm extending. I'm going to hold down and pull out. So what I'm looking at in this window now is the last frame of the first clip and the first frame of the second clip. You'll notice the second clip is just being pushed over. Everything on the timeline is being pushed over to make room for this. It's not being covered up. Let's see how these two are meeting each other now maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's good. She's starting to do more flipping there. Maybe that's better. Let's see. Pretty good. Now, you know what? Maybe the second clip starts a little bit slower because the pacing's way off. So I'm going to extend the second. I'm going to start the second clip sooner. Again, I'm going to press the letter F just so that you can see visually what I'm saying. F. Here's the in and out points that I have on the timeline. Oh, I have a ton more room here to work with. Click away. I just did space bar to get out of the F tool. So now I want to start the second clip sooner. I have my arrow now pointing at on the second clip, which is what I want because that's the clip I'm working with. Now I'm going to pull towards I don't want it to be still. I can see that there's no movement there. I want it to just start like maybe a little slower. That might look nice. I'm gonna let go and let's see how they, the two of them meet now. A little better. It makes a little bit more visual sense. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use the Ripple tool in Premiere Pro. This has been Margaret for Noble Desktop.